Welcome to pre-math. In this video, we have got this uh, right triangle ABC, as you can see in this uh, diagram, such that its side lengths are uh, 30 and uh, 15 units. And moreover, this line segment AD make an angle 30 degrees with this uh, side length AB. And now we are going to calculate this distance uh, AD. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe. Let me make it very clear that this figure may not be 100% true to the scale. Let's go ahead and get started with the solution and here's the very first thing we are going to do. And here's our very first step. Let's go ahead and calculate the area of this uh, right uh, triangle ABC. And now let's recall the area of a triangle formula. Area equals to a half times base times the height. And in our case, our base is 30 and our height is 15 units. So therefore, the area of this triangle ABC is going to be simply a half times our base is 30 times our height is 15. And if we multiply everything on the right hand side, that is going to give us 225. So thus the area of this triangle ABC turns out to be 225. And here's our next step. Let's make an observation. We can see that the area of this uh, big triangle uh, ABC equals to the area of this uh, triangle ABD plus the area of this uh, triangle ADC. Now let me go ahead and represent the area of this triangle ABD as A sub 1 and the area of this other triangle ADC as A sub 2. Then the area of this uh, big triangle ABC is going to be the sum of these two individual areas A sub 1 plus A sub 2. So therefore uh, this uh, equation can be written as area of this triangle ABC is going to be a sub 1 plus a sub 2. But we know from this equation area of this triangle ABC is 225. So therefore I'm going to replace this one by 225. So therefore our this equation is going to become 225 equal to a sub 1 plus a sub 2. And now we are going to calculate these areas a sub 1 and a sub 2. And now since we are interested in finding the length of this side AD, let me go ahead and represent this side by x units. Moreover, we know that this angle is 90 degrees and this angle DAB is 30 degrees. So therefore, this angle DAC is going to be 90 minus 30 is going to give us 60 degrees. Now here's our next step. Let's go ahead and calculate the area of this triangle ABD, which is A sub 1. And now let's recall the area of a triangle formula. Area equals to a half times AB times sine of C. As you can see in this uh, triangle, A and B are our uh, side lengths and C is the angle between these two sides. And in our case, our side lengths are 30 and X and the angle between them is 30 degrees. So therefore, our area A sub 1 is going to be a half times 30 times X times sine of 30 degrees. And here's our next step. Let's go ahead and calculate the area A sub 2 of this triangle ADC. And once again, we're going to be using this area formula. In our case, our side lengths are X and 15 and the angle between them is 60 degrees. So therefore, our area A sub 2 is going to be a half times X times 15 sine of 60 degrees. And here we figured out our A sub 1 and A sub 2 values. Let's go ahead and plug it in in this equation. So therefore, our this equation could be written as 200 25 equal to, I'm going to replace a sub 1 by this uh, right hand side, which is uh, a half times uh, 30 times uh, x sine of uh, 30 degrees plus, uh, I'm going to add uh, this one as well. So that's going to be a half times x times 15 sine of uh, 60 
degrees and now we are going to solve this equation for uh, x and now let me show you how to find this sine of 30 degrees and sine of 60 degrees in an easy way without using a calculator and now let's focus on this uh, 30 60 90 special right triangle and we know that this 90 degrees is our largest angle so the side opposite to this one is going to be this side is going to be longest leg and this 30 degrees is our smallest angle so the side opposite to that one is going to be our smallest leg so in such kind of triangle this uh, longest leg is uh, twice this uh, smallest leg if this smallest leg is one then this uh, largest leg is going to be two times that one is going to be two units and if we use the pythagorean theorem this our third leg is going to be square root of uh, Three. Now let's recall this uh, Sokotoa. We are going to find the value of uh, sine of 30. So therefore we are going to use this uh, sine of theta equals to opposite uh, over hypotenuse. And in our case for angle 30 degrees, uh, this side is our opposite uh, and this side is our hypotenuse. So therefore uh, sine of uh, 30 degrees is going to be simply, it's going to be 1 divided by 2. And now we are going to calculate this sine of 60 degrees for this angle 60 degrees. This side is our opposite and this is our hypotenuse. So therefore sine of 60 degrees is going to be opposite in our case is square root of 3 divided by 2. So therefore I'm going to replace this sine of 30 degrees by 1 divided by 2 and sine of 60 degrees I'm going to replace it by square root of 3 divided by 2 as you can see in this next step now let's go ahead and simplify this thing that is going to give us 225 equals to and that is going to give us 30 x divided by 4 plus uh, that is going to give us 15 times square root of 3 times x divided by 4 and here on the right hand side we can see that uh, between these two terms 15 divided by 4 is in common so therefore i can write this thing 225 equals to 15 divided by 4 outside so we ended up with the 2x plus square root of 3 times x and now let's go ahead and multiply both sides by the reciprocal of this one which is 4 divided by 15 on this side and 4 divided by 15 on this side as well and on the left hand side when we multiply this thing that's going to give us uh, 60 equal to these are cancelled out and here we can factor out x times uh, this is going to give us uh, 2 plus uh, square root of uh, 3 and now let's go ahead and divide both sides by 2 plus square root of 3 this is gone so therefore our this x value turns out to be 60 divided by 2 plus square root of 3 and now we know that this x represents the length of ad so therefore ad turns out to be equal to 60 divided by 2 plus square root of 3 so thus our ad length turns out to be 60 divided by 2 plus square root of 3 units and that is approximately equal to 16.1 units thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos bye